Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the 2023 PRI show. We're in the fluid amper booth and I'm joined by Bryce Van Gindren of VG Motorsports. Between us here is a light pro stock John Deere engine and it's our diesel of the week. Engine Builders Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Bryce, thanks so much for giving us a little bit of time here to Thank you. talk about this awesome John Deere engine. You know, we were talking a little bit off camera before we got uh, the cameras rolling. This is uh, quite, quite an engine and something that you guys specialize in uh, at VG Motorsports. So I'd like to start, just tell the folks a little bit about what you guys do at the shop. So we machine a lot of our own parts at the shop, block work, build our own connecting rods, camshaft blanks, gear train, uh, manifolds, pretty much anything we need for our own engine builds. Um, a lot of it's all designed by ourselves. We have a great crew that works with us uh, to make it all happen. Yeah, yeah, excellent. How many people do you have in the shop? Uh, we've got ourselves and two full-time machinists. Okay, very good, very good. Now, you were talking uh, John Deere's, especially for you guys. You guys do some international work too, and, and you're just starting to get into a little bit of Cummins work. Yeah, our primaries are uh, small block John Deere and our, our international DT 466. Yeah. We do a uh, variable of the DT 360, and they're starting to dabble a little bit in the Cummins world. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So, like you said, this is a small block John Deere, uh, 540 cubic inch. Yes. Uh, so, walk us through this build. You know, what. It sounds like you guys do most of these uh, in-house completely uh, in terms of the machine work and a lot of the components. Correct. Uh, this one here utilizes an OEM uh, nine liter John Deere block. We do have an aftermarket version of this block. Um, then it starts out with a billet crank, uh, our in-house built connecting rods, diamond pistons. Uh, we build our camshaft and send them out to get ground. Um, all right, so that's a little bit of the bottom end. How about some of the valve train? You mentioned uh, that you guys do some stuff on the cylinder heads. Yeah, so this one does have one of our recast uh, small block cylinder heads on it. We have everything casted, machined in-house, and then final port work done. So this one here is actually one of our prototypes, new designs. It's getting ready to hit the track uh, yeah. to do some testing on and see yeah. if it'll make some power. Yeah, very good. Um, now, why don't you talk a little bit about some of the fueling and the oiling components? So the oil system on these is a wet sump system. Um, then it goes to, we utilize the Aviat oil pumps with a dual section pump, and it also has a primer pump on it for pumping our diesel fuel to the, uh, the injection pump itself. So okay. otherwise the fuel system on this, because of class rules, this has to run a P7100 series okay. pump. Okay. Um, our fuel system here come from Weimer. Very good. And uh, you also have some water running through this to help keep the engine cool? Yeah, this class is not allowed to run an intercooler, so to control exhaust temps um, and up the cylinder uh, pressure, it does run with water injection. It runs about as much water as it does diesel fuel through these motors. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yes. Awesome. Now, you can't ignore the uh, pretty sizable charger, but in your world, it's, it's maybe not so big. Um, but you want to talk a little bit about what you got on here? Yeah, so the turbo on this, uh, the spec in the class has been capped at a five inch intake and a four and a half G trim style exhaust. Okay. Uh, this one's been prepared by Weimer also out of Pennsylvania. Okay, very good. Now how much boost would you guys be running, you know, in, in the application, how much boost would you be running through there? So this motor is going to be running somewhere in the 130 area uh, with this size charger. Yeah, yeah. And it'll turn about 5,000 RPM at peak power. Okay, very good. And how much horsepower does an engine like this make? Uh, this one's roughly 3,000 horse and about 35, 3,800 foot pounds of torque. Okay, yeah, yeah, very good. Yep. And, you know, obviously we're in the fluid amper booth. Uh, you guys do have a fluid amper uh, damper on there. Uh, have you guys been working with them for a while? Yeah, we've been working with fluid damper on all of our builds for several years, doing product. They come out with a new pulling damper. Um, it's been a, uh, a good improvement over their, their previous versions. So yeah. really helps life of the crank, get some of the harmonics out of the motors. Yeah, yeah. No, it definitely keeps things smooth, especially uh, when you're really tearing things up like yep. in an application like this. Yes, so. they do. Um, Bryce, anything else about this particular build that we've left out or just anything else that you guys did that makes this a unique build? Um, this here is pretty much our turnkey package for this program. Um, Otherwise, once we get a proven package, we don't vary a whole lot. 
Um, do have to give credit to Ryan Ewing, uh, Ewing Shine Shop, for doing all the detailing and polishing on this yeah. motor. Yeah, no, it looks great. Definitely uh, has some bling to it. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, Bryce, I appreciate the time. Thanks for walking us through this uh, this John Deere light pro stock engine. Alrighty. Thank you. Guys, that's been this episode of Diesel of the Week. We appreciate you watching. Make sure you're checking out everything that Bryce has going on at VG Motorsports. And uh, make sure you're checking out everything that's going on at Fluid Amper. And as always, please uh, visit EngineBuilderMag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.